Hi there, today we're going to repot my dendrobium berry here, which I got as a tiny cakey about 10 years ago. And back then I potted it into this exact pot and didn't change the medium ever since. So I'm quite excited to repot it today. I think this is going to be a long one, so please grab some kind of beverage, take a seat, relax, and I hope you're going to enjoy the video. And if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. This is what keeps me motivated posting this kind of videos. Yeah, so let's start repotting this dendrobium. Without further ado, I'm a bit nervous and here's why. Actually, I don't need to be nervous because this plant has proved to be so resilient, but it's going to be rough because there's so many roots and they are used to being root bound like this. And sometimes roots react to repottings. Even if it seems to be good for them, they receive fresh medium and everything, but still, Sometimes they just die off and I don't know how this dendrobium is about to react. Here you can see the oldest pseudobulbs. I think this is the pseudobulb that I received as a keiki over 10 years ago. And then it might have produced this one. I will remove these leafless sucked out pseudobulbs that the plant has given up on and yeah we will see if I will be able to pot it back into this small pot probably not so this might be it we will see so follow me I haven't watered it this week maybe last week or so so it is hydrated but not not extremely hydrated. These pseudobulbs can even be more plump. But if I had watered it beforehand, these roots would be so thick and plump, I wouldn't be able to remove the pot. I think so. Let's see. Oh, I hate these sounds. I think. I will have to give up on these roots. I will just pull and see what happens. I could have repotted this plant earlier, but, but for what? It did really well in this pot. So I get why I should repot it now. It's long overdue, but I don't see any reason why I should report it every one or two years if I can do it less frequently and get away with it, which I can. Although this is not good, I know. I will damage some of these beautiful root tips, I fear. So I'm still pressing and hoping that it comes off without me damaging everything. But I fear it's wishful thinking. What did I think would happen, huh? Now I'm complaining. But that's what you get if you are lazy for 10 years. I was quite impressed with this new growth, being able to develop this nicely, despite the fact that it was cramped already. By the way, I've cut my finger. That's why I have gloves. Maybe these roots are holding it. And cause some of the resistance. Oh, we're getting close. One of the root tips has 
died. Most of them have survived. Now let's see if we can save some of the roots down here. Because they aren't bad, there's still some fresh tips. So there's no reason giving up on them. The medium is quite brittle and broken down after 10 years, at least the surface, but still I can press on it and it's not falling apart, so <laughs> I'm quite impressed with this medium. So let's see, there's fresh tip here. So I can't complain, it's not all dead inside, it's really interesting, isn't it? So there's some dust falling out, so there is some decay. Here's how the roots look like. And I remember adding some medium a couple of years ago. I haven't reported it back then, but just added some medium. I got it from Schwerter and the batch of medium was moldy and yeah, I couldn't remove it once put in there. So it stayed in there and the plant arranged itself and I got away with it. The plant didn't react in a negative way. It's fascinating. All these roots seem to be alive. Or at least functioning to a certain extent. Here you can see a piece of a shell. This was in the mix that I added, which I didn't like so bad. So there's not all too much medium left inside. This has always been a plant that has rooted really nicely. I would like to know is if I can remove the portion back here so that the plant will get a bit slimmer. Let's take a look. The front portion, we've lost a root tip. The other roots seem to be fine. What else could I have hoped for? Really nice. I don't think that it has ever lost a suitable. That's why I think the keiki I got it as still there. Huh. I could just pull it apart. And now I can pull this portion, and as you can see. These pseudo bulbs have been consumed and now I can see which of the old roots belong to this portion and remove those two. That's really nice. Let's make a clean cut. 
so that we have a smaller cutting wound. It's really tiny. Tiny wet spot. It's good. So I hope this plant won't be too impressed by this repotting. Be so great if it didn't suffer too much because it's really close to my heart. It's one of my lowest effort plants and I appreciate low effort in plants. Okay, I'm back. Clean the root system under the sink. And this is what I'm left with. The back portion didn't have many good roots anymore. I'm sure they were functioning to some extent but they weren't as fresh anymore, so I removed quite a few of them. And these ones, although stained, are still alive. And now I'm wondering if I can put it back into its original pot, which is here, all cleaned up. Let's see. By the way, I'm not saying that this is how you should do it, that you should leave your plants unrepotted for 10 years. This is absolutely not what I am saying, but this is what happened to this plant and I got away with it. And it's not always necessary to repot every one or two years. It depends on your plant, on your environment, on the medium, on the root system, and how the plant is doing, and not on a certain repotting schedule that someone has to follow. This is what I'm saying. I'm not saying you shouldn't repot your plants. Please repot your plants whenever you think it's necessary. I'm wondering what happens if I pot this plant up like so. I think that's what I'm going to try. And if it doesn't work out, I can up-pot it in a couple of months. So what I'm going to do is fill up as much as I can with fresh medium and call it a day. So let's see. Here I have some medium that I found in a bag and I think I put it in there about five or six years ago and for some reason I kept it. So I think it must be alright. If there were any bugs inside I hope they are not there anymore. I think it's medium that I received at an orchid show I helped out. Afterwards, we were allowed to take some of the medium, or as much as we wanted, actually, of the medium that was used for decorating the show. So it has gotten dark outside, so I have to finish the video soon. Here's the finished result. I don't know how it will turn out. It's still quite tight, as you can see. squeezed as much medium in there as I could to stabilize it and now I hope that the new growths are going to keep growing and especially keep rooting. Here's its old decorative pot and I hope it's going to be fine. 
I'm quite positive it will, but I don't know. I haven't repotted plants after 10 years in the same pot very often. So now let's take a look at it four weeks after the repotting. The new growths are growing nicely. I don't think that they are going to become as big as the last ones, but that's okay. But do you see the root growth? I'm quite pleased. There's root growth in the pot. Roots poking out of the bottom. Root tips conquering the new medium. Wait a second. These are the old roots that were squeezed and are still quite squeezed. And even there are new root tips appearing here and there. And that's really good. I think it's going to be fine. Please let me know in the comments below how long have you waited until you repotted an orchid at max. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy growing to all of you. Bye!